Greetings to all. Today we are going to learn change in resistance of a conductor. Change in resistance of a conductor when we change the physical dimensions of a conductor. Or basically, okay, now, so all of you please subscribe the channel. We will go to the lecture quickly. So, today what we are going to learn what happened to the resistance of a conductor when length is doubled then again or if area is doubled what happens or length is doubled and area halved or radius is doubled diameter is doubled so these all are related to the equation resistance equal to rho l by a here R is the resistance. R is the resistance. Rho. Rho is the resistivity. Resistivity. Resistivity or specific resistance. A equal to area of the conductor. Area of the conductor. Area of the conductor now we will see each each situations what happens so whatever the r already i have i will just assume it as i have a conductor i have a conductor this is a conductor it's a conductor so whatever the length is for this conductor le l equal to length equal to L area equal to A area equal to A and rho is the specific resistance. So when I write the equation for this conductor, resistance equal to rho L by A. So I am assuming that whatever originally I am having, it is having 100 ohm resistance so that we can compare the Compare it in numbers. Okay, now we will see the first first condition. What happens if length is doubled? Length. Length is doubled. What happens? Doubled. Doubled. Now. Our equation equal to resistance equal to rho L by A. That is our first equation rho L by A. Now, what is the thing? Now, length is doubled. This is our actual original equation. So, which is equal to 100 ohm. That's what we are assumed. It is going to be 100 ohm. Now, I am going to change. I am going to double the length. So, what I will get rho. 2L in place of L, L will be replaced with 2L divided by area. So, which is equal to 2 rho L by A, which we can write it as 2 times our original value. What is our 2 times original? What was our rho L by A? What we assumed 100 ohm. So, it will be 200 ohm. That means when we double the length of the conductor, our resistance doubled. Now we will go to the second condition. Uh, what was the second? That is area is doubled. Area is doubled. When we doubled, here also what was our actual resistance equation? R equal to rho l upon a so this we are assumed to 100 ohms now what we will do we will double the area what happens when we double the area now r r equals rho l by we are doubling the area that means 2a 2a 
Now what happens to the resistance? I can write it as 1 by 2 rho L by A. Right. Because the area is doubled. That's why I put 2 there. Now this rho L now 1 by 2 rho, rho L by A. We can put it as a, whatever the assumed value that is 100 ohm. If you put 100 ohm what you will get? We will get answer as 50 ohms. Answer as 50 ohms. So what happened here? When the area doubled, resistance halved. Resistance halved. When area is doubled, what happened here? When area doubled, resistance becomes half. Resistance becomes half. That's what we saw. Now we have a third condition. What is our third third condition? What is the third thing? We are, what we are going to change? The third condition. Our third condition is length doubled and area halved. Length doubled. Now what happened? Length is doubled and area half halved. So area being reduced to half, length doubled. What happens? Our original equation is rho r resistance equal to rho l by a so which equal to what we are assumed to be 100 ohm so with 100 ohm we are comparing the results now r equal to now what is the new length doubled for the new resistance i oh, sorry i'll take it as r dash everywhere i took it as r we sub we can take it as r dash that's better r dash equal to what is the rho? Rho is same. Rho is depends on the material. Length we have doubled to L. And area we have halved. One area become A by 2. Half of the area. That is A by 2. Now what happens to the equation? Now what happens? When you now the same thing we can write it as what rho 2l what happens when a by 2 comes to the uh, numerator we can take inverse and multiply that is 2 by a comes 2 by a which equals what which equals 4 rho 4 rho l by a again our r equal to what rho l by a that is equal to that is equal to what 100 ohm so it has increased but it has when he, already we have seen when length is doubled area doubles if area is also again area is halved again it doubles so it is 4 times of 100 ohm it has become 4 times of 100 ohm that is 400 ohms so we got 400 ohms so it has increased by four times. So length is doubled and area is halved. It has increased by four times. Resistance has increased by four times. Now what we will see? We will see uh, the third condition. What was the third condition? Radius, radius, radius of the conductor is radius is doubled. What happens if radius is doubled? Now what will we see the equation, our actual original resistance rho L by A. Here this A equal to what pi r square. The area of a conductor we can write it as pi r square. So it is equal to rho L upon pi r square. This is equal to 100 ohm in our assumed case, correct, 100 ohm. Now we will see what is the new r dash if you double the radius. So what you will get rho L pi instead of r what you will write 2r all pi because radius, uh, radius is doubled. So it becomes rho L upon 4r square. So what happens? The resistance rate. Now what I will do? I will take 1 by 4 I will take it out. 
then what you can write rho l upon pi r square so pi r square rho l by pi r square is the r so 1 by 4 multiplied by our r whatever we wrote now this can be written as 1 by 4 what is the r value 100 ohm 100 ohm so it becomes 25 ohms that, that, that means if we will double the radius the resistance has reduced by 4 times reduced by 4 times 1 by 4 of the actual resistance now this is the next is our last condition what happens when diameter is doubled what is doubled diameter diameter is doubled diameter now the resistance value actual equation a rho l upon a which can be written as rho l upon in terms of diameter we can write it as pi d square by 4 pi d square by 4 uh, this is in our assumed case it is 100 ohms 100 ohms now we will find new what we are going to do we are doubling the we are going to double the diameter so what will happen a rho l pi by 4 i will write it like that itself then instead of d square what will happen we are going to double it so 2d whole square 2d whole square so this will be equal to what so rho l upon pi by 4 4 d square 4 d square 4 d square now 1 by 4 we will put it there itself okay okay let's uh, okay now what is there we have the denominator rho rho l the denominator what we need pi d square by 4 so i write it as pi d square by 4 pi d square by 4 is there so pi d square by 4 is there now what is left out in the equation 4 that is 4 multiplied by 4 pi d square by 4 so uh, this oh i will write it here itself here itself i will write it because we will try to instead of going to the next page we will write it here so what it becomes 1 by 4 uh, rho l upon pi d square by 4 which is equal to what 1 by 4 of whatever our r value what was our r value next i will write it here what was our r value that equals to 1 by 4 into 100 so we will get 25 ohms so what if when you are doubling the diameter or when you are doubling the radius we are getting the same effect that is the resistance of the conductor decreases by 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 of the actual value so this is a good information to all of you and uh, i think more than this you are not going to face any other problems so guys thanks for watching uh, please subscribe and share the video with your friends thank you